Your wife is hot. Well, I appreciate that, Philip. Today I'm gonna to tell everybody what it's like to have a hot wife and be pretty average looking. One, people will be flabbergasted when they see it. Two, people will automatically assume you got a lot of money or something, and that's the reason that you got a beautiful wife, not because you're unbelievably funny and cool. Three, a lot of people will hate you because they think they're better looking than you, and they're angry because they don't have a wife as attractive as yours. Four, people will think you're a lot cooler than you really are. And five, people like assume you're like part horse, and that's the reason you've been able to like pull such a beautiful woman. Yeehaw, got me feeling like a cowgirl. Yeehaw, got me feeling like a cowgirl. As you can see, old soccer's a fan of the NPC shit. Mm, Caucasian, yes, yes, yes. Mm, Caucasian, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> He is not lying. When you're an average looking guy and you're walking with a woman that's above average, you're gonna get some haters. Like, bruh, it ain't my fault you can't pull women, bro. People to deal with are the kid thugs that I used to teach. And they are just so raw and they get you where you really, like where it really hurts. You're so stupid you ordered a donut and you complained it had a hole in it. Yeah, a big ass fucking head. Motherfucking teeth so big, if you sneeze, you bite a hole in your chest. <laughs> Bitch, teeth so big, he eat corn through a fence. Bitch, teeth look like chiclets. Motherfucking teeth look like chalk. Motherfucking teeth look like a boxer's mouthpiece. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? The funniest thing about this whole video, bro, is that he didn't really even say anything egregious. This is another example of the fact that we do not keep it real with women because just by him telling her the truth through jokes, she cried. And the worst thing to do with somebody that's actually joning on you is showing them your insecurity because once they figure out what you're insecure about, oh, they gonna go in on it. They go <laughs> And that's a roasting competition. So she willingly put herself out there to compete and get joked on while she's supposed to be joking on them. Every time I go to the club and y'all be shaking y'all booty next to me, it be smelling a little bit like fish. I wanted to address all the bounce that ass smell that goes on in the club. Please use a wash rag. That loofah, it's not, it's not cutting it. Please use a washcloth and use a bar soap. Sloth off the skin. Don't use just a loofah. I love bar soap. Like the loofah's not getting into the crevices. You know, when a woman got a big butt, it's always that one old man that asks, What's all that movement back there? But he should be asking, What's all that odor back there? Ah, uh, this man said, I'm out in the club. He's talking about I miss you. <laughs> I said I miss you too, daddy. <laughs> I said I miss you too. He's talking about where you at. Pull up for me. I said. Uh... <laughs> you know, people can live however they want. It's their decision. It's their choice. But then be confused when they're not made into a wife. Like, why he ain't commit to me? Why he ain't put a ring on it? What? I didn't play the rest of the video, but she says she's literally going 90 in the 60s to speed to the D. You can't make this stuff up, bro. You hey, man, I'm tired of you women talking about some oh, da, 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 skinny as hell. You can't handle all of this. Shorty, what is this right here? This is 345 on both sides. You do the math, right? Right. Look at that. Look at that. And you tell me, you tell me, am I struggling? You. You tell me. I know for a fact that none of y'all win this much. It's just the right because I do. Whoa, 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 whoa. I ain't gonna lie, I never even knew this machine was for that, bro. Yo, let me show you an accurate presentation of what it's like eating a meal, okay? Babe, do I look so beautiful right now? For sure, babe. I always tell you you look beautiful. Okay, that was the end of that scene. And now we're gonna move on to this scene. I'm my man, and these are his friends. Oh my god, bro! Would you buy those shoes, man? They just complement your attire so perfectly. And when you look at the sun, it is parallel to the soil. And now you are perfectly in line and symmetrical with how beautiful you look. Man? And then his friends? <laughs> Yo, she wrong for that. that. That's not how we are, bro. She she wrong for that. <laughs>
There ain't no girl that thinks a medium ugly dude is actually ugly, bro. You still pull, fam. Bro, I'll be the one to say it. It's, it's the best thing in the world, fam. Being medium ugly is a luxurious experience, bro. Because there's no such thing as a medium ugly woman. If you're a medium ugly woman, you just ugly, period. No disrespect to women, y'all are all pretty in y'all's own way. Like I was saying, though, let me break it down. Let me tell you what, what, what goes on in my world. I got a homeboy named Cam. We've been going to school since the second grade. He's always gotten the baddest girl. Dudes like that encounter the problem, getting approached by everybody. They don't know who really wants them for real. I'm like, yo, are you easy? Anytime a medium ugly dude get approached, we know, oh, they definitely like us for sure. Because there are better options potentially. But I'm not ignorant. Being medium ugly has its cons for real, for real. Just check it. Fine girls shoot their shot at ugly medium dudes by giving them the sign to come shoot with them. You see what I mean? This is literally my life. A fine girl makes eye contact with me. If I don't catch those hints, though, we're going to be strangers forever because she's not going to come approach me. She's not going to get her friend to come and approach me for her. You want to know why? You're still ugly. You got to remember that. Yeah, you're not ugly, ugly, but you're medium ugly. But it's like you still have a 100% success rate when you go shoot with the girl because she don't think you're ugly. Because medium ugly dudes are not really ugly. It's just really just a time. If you don't catch onto that hint, y'all just going to be strangers forever. It works perfectly because you know that if you go talk to her, she's going to give you her social, bro. Come on now. You look, he wants you to. You're going to get the number. Bro. But if you was like a dude and you was like a 9 out of 10, she'll come up to you for sure. But you're not going to get that Itris Elba treatment every time. That Itris Elba, Chris Brown treatment every time. Yeah, it's going to happen from time to time, but you still pull. Hello. Every number shoots at you, bro. You could be at a party, you'll be getting eye contact from a girl that's a 9 and a girl that's a 2.7. The real truth, even though he said a lot of facts, is beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And because women have a sheep herd mentality, they can think you're a 10 out of 10, but no, on a social level, that's your average looking guy. He gave a different word for a medium, ugly, whatever, average. I believe they're all around the same type of category. A woman can think you're a 10 out of 10, but if she knows societally you don't have that 10 out of 10 look, even though she's extremely attracted to you, she's not gonna, because she cares what other people think. She cares what other females think. And this is why average looking dudes, especially when they make themselves look nice, like how he has the sunglasses on, the hat on, he's trying to make himself look as nice as possible. This is why average looking guys win, is because to her, you might be a 10 out of 10, you might be a nine out of 10, 10 out of 10, because you have the look that she likes. Or are you like gay now or something? Like what's going on? People think so. Are you a little gay? So I'll say this. <laughs> that, was, yeah, that wasn't a no, dude. I'm straight. Okay, okay. I only like women. Okay, because you said you're gonna jerk the fuck. I'm very, very comfortable with my sexuality. Yeah, I, know, I get it. And I push the line a lot. Why do I do that? One, because I'm comfortable doing it. It makes me have fun. It makes me feel free and not have to be worried about, oh my God, is that sus? Da, da, da. Yeah, who cares? And also to piss off all the kids who are so insecure that they say, hey, yo, sus, da, da, da. I'm trying to show like, Guys, I raise up more girls than you can in your entire life. I don't have sex because I'm celibate, but if I wanted to, it could be nasty. And yes, <laughs> I still look at you in the eyes and say, I'll suck your dick. It's yeah. kind of like to prove I, a point. I, I do of... say I'm non-binary and gay, but that's just an inside joke between my audience. But my audience did do a poll live, is Fousey bisexual? And they all thought yes. And you're not? I'm not. Okay. I just it reminds me of like, I remember, I don't know when Aiden Ross started. He, I think he was one of the first streamers who started like the super sex. I think Aiden's gay though. Actually, yeah, I've talked Ross to RL, yeah. Aiden Ross. Yeah, he's very zesty, like when we talk privately, like on FaceTime. Like on the internet, he's like, oh yeah, 21 Savage, little Uzi Vert. On FaceTime, he was like, Fousey, I'd love for you to come to Miami. I don't believe that. Huh? I don't believe that. I'll FaceTime on Fousey, I'd, lo I'd love for you to come to Miami, train me out, work me out a little bit. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I don't judge him. Many people may disagree with me, but I don't care. When something is not masculine, men automatically assume it's sus. Where women, in my opinion, they have more freedom to be their authentic selves without somebody criticizing them and saying that they're acting sus because no one cares when it comes to women. But if you're a creative guy, a creative straight guy who likes to express themselves differently because you're creative, if it doesn't fit the way you act, if it doesn't fit into the narrow box, the narrow focus, the narrow box of what masculine looks like, they'll automatically categorize you as gay. I believe if a man is truly being himself, truly being 100% authentic to himself and not worried about looking or appearing to be masculine, some things are gonna come off as sus. It just is what it is. Because whatever that masculinity is, that masculine look, we're copying a version of somebody else who's a masculine look. Like somebody else created this masculine swag that we all see, you know what I'm saying? The shoulders up and things like that. Someone else created it. But in my opinion, true masculinity is not how you look. True masculinity is how you are. Are you a brave person and not timid? Are you dominant? Do you provide for those around you? Do you protect those around you even if you're scared? Do you take care of your responsibilities? To me, that's what masculinity is. It's not a certain way you act. It's not a certain style of acting. It's the character of the person, in my opinion. And the ironic thing about this whole thing is this dude boxes and he got hands. Like he could actually fight. What's more masculine than that? I'm never telling anybody my feelings ever again.
So this is how the conversation went. I was like, sir, I have something to tell you. He was like, what's wrong? I was like, nothing's wrong. It might be a good thing depending on your reaction. Cause I'm like, if he's feeling me back, then it's a good thing. He said, oh, okay. So I said, so I don't know if it's obvious, but I have a crush on you. He said, oh really, huh? And I said, yeah. How do you feel about in that information? And he hasn't texted back. It has been over 15 minutes now. He was running by quick when I said I had to tell him something. And now he stopped responding. I already know what that means. <laughs> It means he knows that he got you and he can act however he wants to act because he knows the more distant and aloof he is towards you or away from you, the more you're going to be attracted to him and want his validation and think about him like you're doing right now. I don't be understanding how women be falling for these same games all the time, bro. Babe, the moment you go and pull out your notes app to write a pros and cons list for this man, really think, really think, is it worth it? At that point, just throw the whole man away. <laughs> what? Huh? Bro, what is she talking about? Pros and cons and what? I feel like you can kind of tell when somebody's like, likes you when they just kind of like say unnecessary shit. Cause a few days ago, I'm literally going like this and I get asked, what is that, an eyelash fan? Lover, are you just trying to make conversation? What else would it be? I mean, yes, don't get me wrong. You are fine and everything, but even if you was an average looking person, I would have asked the same question too. Cause it looked like a T-Mobile portable charger. Bro, what the heck is that? I would ask the same thing. I gotta always learn how to talk to the king in you. I don't care how mad I get. And I had to learn, I learned that in therapy, that for me to manifest the man that I wanted in my life, I had to learn how to always speak to him like the man I wanted in my life, even when I'm mad at him. You know what I'm saying? I had to learn how to speak to the man that I wanted in my life all the time I needed to speak to him as that man. Even when we get upset with each other, we have, there are rules, you don't hit below the belt. There's a lot of things that, and a lot of growing that I've done, but we've all got to get to that place. You know, this sounds very positive and everything like that, but this goes back to that bull crap of a woman trying to change a man. She said in order for her to manifest the man that she wanted in her life, she had to speak to him as that man. But what if he never becomes that man? I don't know what it is, but women are fascinated with a challenge and fascinated with trying to change a man to the type of person that they think that they want him to be. But the problem is, if you ever seen a woman change a man, he instantly becomes like a simp to her. Like the fact that she had the power to change him, a lot of times she loses that attraction and respect for him. Simps are the only ones that are soft enough to get changed by a woman. They'll do anything for a woman in order for her to accept and like him. And we all know women don't like that. So when a man finally changes, she loses, she gets bored, she loses attraction. And then now she going on her next project to find something else she can change. I'm not saying we shouldn't evolve as people and change as people, but when a woman, in my opinion, changes you, yeah, no, I, I, I ain't rocking with that. Dad. Yeah. I'm gonna show you the way of cracking eggs, come here. I learned that on TikTok, no way of cracking eggs. So, the first one, go and crack it. <laughs> right? The second one. <laughs> Keep doing that TikTok. I like that. You want to show me another egg? <laughs> I can do more eggs too. But there, yeah. We don't got no more eggs now. Look at this. The fuck? Don't be doing that shit to me. You know how I get? Wow. But smashing a whole carton of eggs on somebody's head is crazy. Like, I understand you gotta get somebody back, but a whole carton of eggs? Like, <laughs> y'all must not know how expensive eggs are these days, bruh. <laughs> if you cook me a good meal and immediately after I got the bubble gut, I don't know if I trust you, bro. I, I don't know if I trust you. I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, yo, bro, who the fuck is. Bro, what the? F oh, you can't make this shit up, bro. Yo, why are you here? No, back up. Why are you here? Why are you? How did you even get here? Why are you being like this right now? I'm not being like anything. How did you get here? I left my AirPod in your car and like Okay, you could have texted me and I could have brought it to okay, you. So like and because now I'm in the middle of a workout and you're bullshitting. So like why are you here? Like why are you here? I don't know what to fucking do. Like now you're following. Me. I actually don't know what to do right now. Like he broke up with me. I don't care. Okay, you don't care, but like he I, I don't broke care. Me, it has nothing to do with it. Everyone honestly thinks I'm crazy, but you are. just go outside. Oh, back up. Like, Yo, son, hey, back up. Back up. Back up. Like stop acting like you don't care about me right now. Like he broke up with me. I don't know what to do right now. 
like I really don't like everyone thinks I'm insane like they actually think I'm crazy like I swear I'm not Go home. like I swear I'm not crazy like, Go it's, home. It's, it's, it's all your fucking Go fault home. I'm not mistaken, she tracked him through her AirPod that she left in his car. An AirPod in the middle of his workout at the gym. An AirPod. That's wild, bruh.